Federal agencies have lifted their paws on the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine. Now, 10 days after the CDC and FDA recommended clinics stop administra administrating it, more than a dozen women reported rare blood clots after receiving the vaccine. But now that the pause has been lifted, more than 9 million doses are ready to be administered across the U.S and here in Nevada. But as 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez shows us, not everyone is quick to roll up their sleeves. Johnson & Johnson vaccine is back in the game, but several women are hesitant to get it, especially after more than a dozen severe illnesses were reported. One of them here from Nevada. Nevada may resume the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but not everyone is on board with it. If you, you're asking me this question today, the answer is no. <laughs> like Fonda Tanner, many women are concerned about the risks and potential side effects after reports of severe illness in women between the ages 18 and 48. I read some um, articles regarding women and um, having difficulty with their mammograms and, and menstrual cycles. So for that, I am going to wait and kind of see where, where the baseline is in, in, in a few months. Fonda says a history of family health issues is another reason she wants to wait, but others like Anne Just have already gotten the J&J &J vaccine, and she says she will do it all over again. Because the percentage is so extremely small. Um, and I do not have uh, a history of any issues that pertain to the blood clots in my particular family. Dr. Siakan says it's important to consider your health history when deciding if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is right for you. If you have a clotting disorder or, it's, or, or, or anything to do with blood clot, clotting issues or a history of it, then ask your doctor or don't take this vaccine, go and get Moderna and Pfizer. But if you don't have any history of platelet dysfunction, of clotting disorder, deep vein thrombosis, this, this vaccine is very safe. Just go out there, get it. For many, the benefits outweigh the risk. But if you have any concerns before or after getting this vaccine, talk to your doctor. Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News.